and we haven't had a lot of rain in the forecast lately, Rob, but changing it all this week. You know, I think we have a shot to see a few scattered showers as we go through our day today. It's not a great chance. It's not an everybody gets wet kind of thing, but if we're going to find some showers this week, today's our best bet. A lot of clouds and that threat for showers wants to keep 24 hour temperature cast maybe a little on the low side. I think we're going to see those numbers climb up into the 60s today. Been watching a couple of sprinkles in parts of eastern Wakulla County, southern parts of Jefferson County, mostly south of I-10 and maybe a few showers starting to drift into parts of Taylor. It's not an awful lot around our region and I do think while there are chances to see some showers today, it's definitely not an everybody gets wet kind of rain. Now, here are some of the numbers we're starting off with this morning. 54 in Thomasville, 58 in Tallahassee, 59 in Valdosta. There is a bit of a breeze and it's got more of a north component to it. It's going to try to bring in some of that cooler and drier air too. Up in Blakely or Dothan, Alabama, it's only in the low 50s. Get down towards Perry at 63. Madison, Lafayette and Cross City, it's 62 this morning. That breeze noticeable at times, doing a pretty good job of limiting any fog that's trying to form. But we've got some spots like Thomasville, like Bainbridge, where the visibility is reduced down to two or four miles. The overall weather pattern still pretty quiet. It's not like we have a big storm system moving in any direction. Instead, we've got a little disturbance. That's all trying to ring a few showers from the clouds once it exits off to the east, and that should happen later on today. The shower chances go away. Future cast Overcooking it just maybe a little bit, but I think the story is the same. We will have a lot of clouds today. We have that chance for a few showers and some of that will linger into tonight and in the overnight, but we start to bring in that cooler and drier air. So tomorrow morning we're likely going to see widespread numbers that start with a four and maybe our coolest morning of the week Wednesday. We're not talking frosty, but maybe a lot of low 40s on Wednesday morning. The winds on the Gulf today, north and northeast, 8 to 16 seas two to four feet, so a little bit breezy for the boaters out there. We're going to get those low tides started in just a few minutes this morning. 50s, 60s, lots of clouds. The rain chance is like 20, 30 percent, probably the best that we can hope for. Upper 60s for daytime highs. It's doubtful we get back to 70 today. A lot of 40s tonight, upper 40s, and then a lot of 40s tomorrow night, lower 40s to start Wednesday. Notice how the afternoon temperatures start to perk back up. So today we keep it in the 60s. Tomorrow I think we get into the 70s pretty easy. By Wednesday, Thursday, it's upper 70s and back up near 80. So looks like March wants to start pretty quiet and definitely wants to warm back up.